Adrian tossed the cash on the hotel room dresser, spreading the 1420s out like a fan. We both watched the crisp green bills land against the sleek glass. My pussy gave an involuntary spasm as I saw the bills. I left them there, liking the way they decorated the room, what they symbolized, before I got down on my knees. He moved to stroke my long, just blown out deep brown hair before thinking better of it and grabbing a handful, pulling me tight against his crotch. When I moved to kiss his hardness through his jeans, he said, I'm not paying you to kiss me. Fuck, but that made me gasp. I looked up at him through the layers of my false eyelashes. His Hawaiian print red and orange shirt stretched across his body as his pale brown eyes stared down at me before I unzipped him and took his half-hard cock into my mouth. The truth is, I pay him for this opportunity, especially to feel him get even harder as I went about my business. I shut my eyes to better focus on the exquisite sensation of having him in my mouth, of being full of him, smelling him, tasting him, reveling in him, until he made me open my eyes to watch his cock as it slid in and out of my lips. That went on until he needed to come, and almost as if he were angry at me for making the blowjob end, he pulled out and lashed his cock across my face. Take it, he said, shoving himself back inside me, his voice going hoarse, his body starting to shake as I did what he told me to, my own body coming alive as I curved my mouth around him. When he came inside me, there was so much of it I had trouble swallowing, but I did somehow, then stayed there, wrapped around him, his hand on my head, our bodies entwined. I'm not really a whore, though I am his whore. I even bought him a car that proclaimed as much, though I keep it tucked away in my desk drawer, only to be spied when I go to get a paper clip or envelope. A reminder I in no way need, because I live and breathe my whoredom every second of the day. While some men pay real whores for the girlfriend experience, I gave up my girlfriend life for this one long ago. The first time Adrian said it to me, I was pinned underneath him, his hefty arms locking mine in place. Don't ever forget that you're my whore, he said, before leaning down to bite my cheek, clamping down at the fleshy, rounded apple puff of my face, the part where magazines tell you to sweep the blush brush over. I liked it at first, the bite, that he was literally sinking his teeth into me, indulging in me like he would a fine steak. Then he let up and bit me again in the same place before coming up so his lips were just of mine. His hand strangled my neck, forcing my eyes up and on into his. That means I can do anything I want to you, anytime. He wasn't asking me a question, but I could sense he needed me to respond to confirm the truth of his statement. Yes, I said, simple and direct, even though the single syllable still managed to get caught in my throat. All right, I'm gonna stop there, because we're really out of time. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs>